Uh, let's start a four engine start. Park brake set. Arc 231 norm. EGIs 1, 2 on. Back of visual pump auto. Servo set. Ignition on. MFDs off. I start with here. Uh, pilot heat off. Engine anti ice. Windshield anti ice off. Windshield wipers. Vent blower heaters are off. Hook is as required. Same instrument test. Bat 1, Bat 2, good. They're all good. Gen 1, 2 on. Air source, APU. APU control on. Fuel pump off. External power off. Fuel boost pumps. 1 and 2 off. Um, and a collision lights. Day. Secondaries to blue. All these. Interior lighting to off. It's daytime. And battery one two on. Cockpit equipment checks, fuel pump AP boost, AP control on. Alright, generators APU on, MFDs on. Save my instrument arm. External power is off. Master one can check. Engine one, two out solid. Low rotor RPM flashing. Lamp test, press check. Alright, flight director is both working. Nice cost panels, one, two working. SAS, everything's lit up there. Um, tail wheel's good. Fire detection's good, bubbles good, and everything's good there. Alright, fire detection test. We have APU lit, engine 1 and 2 lit, and the master 1 panels. We have fire. Alright, they're up. Alright. SES 1 2 trim FPS on. Flight controls check. We're going to make sure there's no binding or anything in the flight controls. There's no binding. Boost off. We're going to feel a bit more resistance now. Alright, we're strong. Servo stage 1. We have the caution and master caution is on. Alright. Norm, it all goes away. Stage two. We have caution and master warning and master caution is on. Alright. Off. Back up your pump off. Say we to check. Press enter into its full range of motion. Um, here in this simulator here, it's not super realistic. It does not go through the full range of motion that it would in real life in the sim. On the ground, at least when we're in flight, it goes down to its, what it would in real life, but in the sim here, it does not. And I'm not quite sure why. Anyways, auto control back on. FMS as required, reset, BFR, we're not going to turn it on yet, avionic check is required, set up, MFD, FMS, and flight director for flight, we're not using any navigation aids today, so we turn them off, TAC, we're going to get my TAC set up, my TAC map, in real life I would not be running satellite, I would probably be running the sectional chart, so you go going to chart, sectional, but it's not implemented in this um, in the sim yet. Hope that it's coming soon. Except for good pilots. Alright. Back to the ECAS. Alright. And uh, in real life, we would not see FMS2 here. There'd be something to turn that off. If you turn that far enough off, it would just turn off. But that's just not happening here in the sim. So we just have to go with it. Alright, engine fuel system as required. Engine ignition on. Gust lock and stabilizer unlocked. Verify. 
off. Flight controls hold. Engines start. Restart engine one. I'm gonna close the doors. Lock. All right. Engine two start. NG rise. TGT rise. I'm not seeing an MP rise. Oh. Right. And engine 2 starter is still on. We're waiting for the engine 2 starter to drop out. We're seeing a good start now. NG's looking good. And start a two drop out. We start a one. NG rise, T rise, idle. Got MP rise, T rise, NG rise, NR rise. And we're waiting for the engine one starter to drop out. Good start so far. And after the NG, TGC, and Q, we would see uh, bars going up on that as well, which they don't for the sim. Then Q1, Q2, we'd see bars going up there too. But at 8%, we wouldn't see, 8, 9%, we wouldn't see bars there. They'd be very small. But I'll show you when we run, do the run up here. I'll show you what I mean. Alright, just start systems check. So good tailwheel is locked back up hydraulic pump auto hydraulic leak system test test there would be a bunch of hold cautions to come up here that's not happening in the sim though so terror zero test so that to back up we do get the caution and master card is on back to normal good toy all right engine run up power levers to fly Pop out of the detent, roll the both up, make sure they're in the detent, which they are. Torque 1 2 matched within 5%. They are. Fuel pump off, AP control off, air source as required, engine fuel system as required, fuel boost pump check, they are off. FMS check status, put all codes. We don't have any codes. So, let me do our hit check. Uh, I'm not going to do the hit check. But, um, right. We're not going to do a taxi so we can skip. I'm just going to briefly run over taxi. Tax bonus issued with secure wipers, debug bar required, park brake release, tail wheel unlocked. Then we check strobe lights required, DIs as required. Before takeoff, takeoff clearance issued, shoot door secure, land lights are required, system check, avionics is required, crew, passenger mission is clearance secure, and inch promoters are equipped with lunch. Alright, we're gonna go to the hover check. We're gonna go ahead and. Just take the our norm. Both attack maps. We're gonna keep the. Buzz on UCAS for the check. Going to the hover check. There's a 10 foot hover. Park break off. Alright, so we're hovering at about 50%, 48%, 49%. I would add 10 to 15, maybe 20 to that, depending on how heavy. We have nothing in the back still. So I'd probably add 15 to that. We could be around 55 to 60. I would imagine, depending on how much fuel we have. Alright, that's pretty dumb. Alright. So this is our hover check. We're gonna taxi out now. So we're gonna go for taxi taxi to shoot or secure. It's good for a big release, tail will unlock. We're just gonna add a bit of collective. Bit of forward cycle. Let's get us going. We're gonna go straight out. Go left turn. Let's 
go ahead and slow down here. And since we're getting close to the room, we can actually just go ahead and drop out collective. And two are locked. And the brakes not really locked. We're stopped here. Before takeoff, take a first issue. Door is secured. Go by lock, go by locked. The crew chief should have their secured and everything going on. Third track line was acquired. System check. Advanced is acquired. Passengers are still match. Engine rear was Alright. Take off. Here in the zero fly, black hawk is very sensitive. And that's just due to the torque settings and all that being off. Jack, 
the 210 ramp, you gotta go right and around the tower, in front of the tower and whatnot, because it's on this side of the Apache ramp. Where all the Apaches are parked. Checklist, tail wheel is required, exterior lights is required, avionics mission equipment is required. Uh, we don't need to do that. We don't need to do the next checklist because we don't taxi anywhere. Tail wheel is required, parking brake set, fuel pump, APP, CPU control on. Just be doing some housekeeping stuff around here. Um, I'm not gonna do it the sim, but <laughs> not thirty seconds. I guess we're gonna go with it. Rotor brake is required. MFD's off. EGIS 1, 2 off. Stay my instruments off. Overhead switches off. That's your heater, vent blower, all this stuff, your lights. 
APU gen off. Fuel pump off. APU control off. There we go. And batteries one and two off. There we go. Alright. I hope you learned something from this video. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe for more aviation content like this. I'll see you in another video.